In Minecraft, nothing is safe. Now, maybe that might sound a little bit ridiculous coming from me, given that I literally designed crazy, over-engineered traps and defenses designed to protect your base from any possible intruder. But the thing is, you see, there is one weapon that is so overpowered that it can defeat all of my traps, all of my weapons, all my defenses. And you know what that weapon is? This thing. No matter how well defended your base is, it's really extremely easy for any intruder to get in. Just start digging. It's extremely effective, and there's really not much you can do about it. Well, today that changes, because I'm going to be designing five traps that can automatically kill players trying to tunnel underneath your base. Wait a second. So here we have the first trap in place, and it makes use of gravity blocks. So as you can see, if we mine through here, we come across a bit of gravel, and if we mine to the side, there's a bit more gravel, so we decide to just, you know, go ahead and dig through. But that, as you can see, was a fatal mistake. So this trap, as you can see, is extremely simple. There are just a bunch of redstone torches on top of some gravel with some pistons and TNT minecarts. There are three TNT minecarts on each piston. Now this can be extended forever uh, on the sideways directions, however you are going to end up using up a lot of TNT minecarts. So as you can see, if a single piece of gravel anywhere is broken, then it will drop one of the TNT minecarts and which will cause the rest of them to detonate. So this next trap is one that I like to call the cave-in. How it works is we're going to just start digging in, and uh, as you can see there's a block that was pushed in front of us, and now we're getting pushed down just a little bit. Now we can dig out of here, and we're starting to get suffocated. This is really strange, but it's easy enough. We have a diamond pickaxe, so we can just break our way out. But as you can see, any moment now, we hear more piston sounds, and we're suffocated again. Now this is going to keep happening until eventually we can't break our way out and we are dead. So as you can see this trap is slightly more complicated than the previous one. So how it works is these pistons are all in a clock. So if any of them update and notice that a block below them is broken, such as these, then when this circuit goes off, it will push all those blocks down and fill in the gap. Now it's going to be able to keep doing this over and over because on this side, there are pistons that are pushing gravel into place so that the pistons over here can constantly keep filling in holes that are created. So if I set myself into survival and try mining into this wall, as you can see I can get a decent distance into the wall, but then it'll start pushing me down and if I'm not careful and don't break my way out fast enough, it'll start suffocating me. Now at this point I'm trapped and if I try to break my way out to escape the suffocation, it's just going to push down more blocks on top of me, leaving me with no escape. To be fair, this one isn't all that practical and probably would be pretty laggy, but it would be really scary to be the victim of this trap and have your tunnel just start collapsing in around you for absolutely no reason. So to make up for the last one, this next trap is really quite simple and makes use of the new 1.19 skulk sensor. So how it's gonna work is we're just gonna unsuspectingly dig and all of a sudden... So as promised, this trap is really quite simple. As you can see, it's basically just this, but repeated on all four sides surrounding a skulk sensor. So, when a block right next to the skulk sensor is broken, it's going to pick it up and immediately send all these TNT minecarts going out in all directions. In order for this trap to work, I usually have around 4 or 5 TNT minecarts in each block, however you can use how many you think might be necessary. So like the cave-in trap, this one also makes use of the piston push limit, however it does it in a much more immediately deadly way. So let's take a little look about what I mean. So the trap is right here in front of us, so if I just start mining this way, you can see, all of a sudden... So this trap, while it is pretty simple, it is also quite expensive in terms of observers, and also this requires around 10 TNT minecarts on each block. But it is really effective, so as you can see, if we break any block on here, it will immediately set off all of the TNT minecarts, killing anyone that happens to be mining anywhere near this wall. So if you're building this trap for yourself, how it's going to work is you have a piston facing upwards with 13 blocks on top of it, and you have also an observer clock underneath it that's going to constantly update the piston, and the moment it fires, these observers are going to detect that and launch off these TNT minecarts. So as you can see, if I break any of these blocks of stone, it's going to immediately activate all of the explosives. So this gigantic trap behind me was actually not designed by me, but by a YouTuber named CosmoYT. He has some really cool stuff on his channel, and he's currently working on a second version of this already extremely overpowered trap. 
So definitely go check out his channel, the link will be in the description. Let's see if we can get him up to 50 subscribers. So this trap is not necessarily a mining trap, but it is still a form of tunnel trap. So apparently how it works is even if you have full maxed out armor, as well as two totems of undying in your hand, and also after eating an enchanted golden apple, you will still immediately die from this trap. So if we go ahead and walk through this tunnel, we'll activate the trap, push it up into here, and I'm really not sure what happens in this trap, but it seems like we're being suffocated by all sorts of minecarts. Trying to jump out doesn't work, trying to break out does not seem to be working because there are armor stands all around us. And it seems like there's really nothing we can do because we're just sitting here. Throwing an ender pearl to escape is also completely useless just because they are immediately absorbed by the armor stand the moment you try to throw one. Well, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something, and all of these traps and weapons will be featured in the Redstone Weapon World, so make sure to check the new link in the description if you want to try these out for yourself. But that's going to be... that's... Also, the 1000 subscriber special is either going to be next week or the week after. It is just such a huge project, but it's worth it. I think you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. But that's all for now, and for now, goodbye.